Great greetings, everyone. This is Nat. This is Jam. And welcome back to another installment of the SpongeBob Reviews. Today, we're reviewing the Season 4 episode, The Lost Mattress. Well, anyway, he... Mr. Krabs is late to work because he couldn't sleep because his mattress was lumpy. SpongeBob thinks it would be a great idea to buy him a new mattress and surprise him. And then Patrick will get a mattress. Squidward wants to take credit as well, so he makes sure that his name gets in the gift card. And Mr. Krabs discovers the new mattress. It's really comfortable. But then he freaks out when he asks the guys, uh, Hey, where's my old mattress? I'm throwing it away to the dump. Mr. Krabs freaks out because he keeps all of his money in his mattress, which is why it's so lumpy. Which begs the question. He's been sleeping on the mattress for years, and he's never had a problem before. Why all of a sudden now is he complaining about a lumpy mattress when he's always kept his money in his mattress? Well, the amount changes because he keeps like 90% of the money he makes. Okay, well, so that, 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 as his mattress gets gradually more uncomfortable. That does have some logic to it. I didn't think about that. I didn't think that that was your complaint you were going to make. I thought you were going to say he has that vault at the Krusty Krab. Isn't that where he keeps oh, his money? Yeah, he, he does keep money in the vault. Doesn't he sleep in a hammock and not a, a mattress? But as we know, there is very little continuity. And I honestly just don't care about that type of stuff. So don't think I'm using that as a criticism towards the episode. I'm just pointing it out. But of course, Mr. Krabs goes to the hospital first because he's uh, dying because he lost his money. And there's a policeman there going to arrest Squidward because Squidward signed his name to the gift card. Um, to take all the credit for the mattress, <laughs> even though it wasn't his idea. So the police are there to say, if Mr. Krabs dies, you're going to be arrested. So this is one of those episodes that has a lot of story to it. You know, there's quite a lot here. It never feels rushed or like they ran out of time. Everything feels natural. And in the second half, they kind of alternate between showing SpongeBob, Patrick, and Squidward going around the dump, and then they cut back to Mr. Krabs at the hospital. And the doctors and nurses are talking, and they've got very melodramatic soap opera hospital music playing which is kind of funny so mm. especially the one where apparently Mr. Krabs doesn't have insurance because he would have to spend money to get insurance so they throw him out in the hall and then they throw him outside and then they just kick him off a hill out. we're gonna have to surgically remove him from in front of the candy machine yeah, there's actually good jokes in this episode then the stuff with SpongeBob Patrick and Squidward is also pretty classic oh yeah now Squidward gets punished a lot in this episode however he kind of deserves it yeah, because he gets himself into every single situation. Yeah, he's, he's not nice this episode. And despite the fact that there's a lot of story here, they also don't sacrifice out on the jokes either. I laughed many times this episode. There's just lots of classic lines, good character interaction. It pretty much checks off the boxes in every category. So overall, I'm going to give it four spatulas. This is a very, very great episode. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to give it four clarinets. This is really, really good. 